Yo, Darren Anzaro from DA Components. This is this week's video is going to be a requested video for uh, my top five uh, traditional tools. So there's going to be a series of videos. So today I'm just going to talk about my top five products that I use from day to day cleaning windows, traditional. So it's a general mop. Uh, put your soap on and you just mop your window. And then before I do that, you get your microfiber cloth. This is a thicker microfiber cloth than normal because it absorbs a lot more water. And uh, what I tend to do with this one, I do all the edges before I blade the actual window. It's right into the corners and stuff. And then you don't have to detail it with your scrim cloth. And the same again with the microfiber cloth that I always find. It doesn't matter if you want to touch the glass with it, you can do. Sometimes it can take the soap off so you have to re-mop it, which isn't a problem. But you can also clean the frame, around the edges of the frame, around the actual hinges. With that same cloth, just fold it over and just mop the edges. But now it's a little bit dry before uh, I can blade it because the squeegee won't move. So what I do is I'd actually mop it. And my preferred squeegee from day to day is just a traditional squeegee this one's the stacconi squeegee the lightest squeegee on the market please remember the world cup came second against my very good friend terry terry burrows so once you start mastering a normal squeegee it's mainly for when new guys come in the industry this is your preferred squeegee just go for your standard squeegee and just blade the actual window off like so Then you get your microfiber cloth that we've just been using. You don't have to deal on no edge because I've been binding it, I've already pre pre cleaned it. You just need to clean the sill like so, and that window's perfect. Now, what you generally find is once you start getting used to squeegees, I'm going to re mop the window. Don't forget your microfiber cloth. What you will find is these type of squeegees are available. This is the Mormon accelerator with the three zero channel. And this squeegee can actually pivot and it pivot in action. And it also swivels like so, but there is a locking pin there so you can lock it into position, whichever angle that you like. But I like it open. So then you can actually squeegee the window like that. So, once you're squeegeeing this window now, all I'm doing is turning this actual handle, the squeegee falls into the position that you want, and just close out. Put that squeegee away, get your microfiber cloth, wipe the silk. So, basic squeegee is a fixed squeegee. You can't pivot it. It does have a quick release handle, so you can adjust it. But these ergonomic squeegees like this, it can pivot, it can get it right down going past the sill, which is about four or five inches. And it also locks into position and it swivels. So that's one version of it. But I am actually been testing another version called the IPC Uni Handle. It's actually very similar. You're gonna adjust the pivot with a handle like so you can actually have a pivot as well but it is three different uh, positions for the swivel so you can swivel right the way back and it goes all the way back to the handle like so if you push the clip into the middle it stops about 45 if you push it completely up it does lock into position a bit like the other one I've just showed it's got a little lever here so you can take the handle, uh, the channel off. But there's a little group screw here, right? And what that does, it tightens the actual tension on the swivel. Now I found that very good when you tighten it to your preferred setting. Because if it's too loose, sometimes you just feel as if it's flubbering on the glass. There is a little bit of movement in the handle. It takes a bit of use, uh, time getting used to it, but once you're used to it, I find it really good.
actual flip mop here which is complete to the uni handle uh, I do find it's a little bit too small if it was a little bit too wide if it was a little bit wider it will stay back so I am mastering that because I haven't really used flip mops even for the actual Mormon one but uh, yeah so I'm just going to show you how to take that off as well so just slides into these little green clips but it actually slides in the, in the handle as well I'm going to take it completely off so I tend to use the squeegee like that the other day I did a little video just a little quick review to get it out there uh, that I left some marks on the glass I actually bent this channel I shut the, the van door on the channel so what I actually do is I take it off because it's all interchangeable with different channels so you can put your own preferred channel on there you lift the actual lever and you push down and then you just clip it into position so my day-to-day -day squeegeeing is this is my setup the only handle with believe it or not the mormon channel uh, uh three zero and i think it works absolutely fantastic because of that grub screw because it tightens that tension of of the swivel so and these type of tools are fantastic for getting behind obstacles where you can't get to on a pole, especially for internal stuff. And I think once you master the swivel and the pivot in action, it's a game changer. So the next one, um, a good old favourite at the moment is the Techno Pad. Techno Pad here, it swivels again and it pivots. And we've just got a walnut pad on here. Uh, you can stick any pad or any cloth or any microfiber cloth to it it's entirely to you but my preferred one at the moment is uh, the walnut pad so I'm just gonna mop this window and then before I squeegee some internal windows on now I tend to uh, go around with the actual uh, techno pad with the walnut pad to it and as you turn the handle it just falls into the position that you want and it gets right in the edges where you need to go mainly for high work as well because when you get to the high work at the top of here you get loads of like, fly poo and insect poo and just, just general grime and then you can actually see the saw changing on the surface so once I'm finished with that I'll get my squeegee and squeegee that off Microfiber cloth. Just wait this up. Just want to talk a little bit about more just to finish this off. I am actually testing some different pads uh, because it's just Velcro. I'm actually testing this thick blue one out here. And it just fits, it overhangs the techno pad a little bit, which I, which I don't mind and it's a little bit more abrasive it feels less if it's going to scratch glass but it doesn't because i'm actually testing it i think it is a bit rough on this on the pvc so just bear with me i'm also testing to see how the 10 inch sleeve from maker actually velcros on as well this is more for applying uh, uh, internal windows or outside windows because it, it can act like a mop then put your water on put your soap on and just uh, mop the window so that fits that as well and we do have remember light duty white pads as well it fits the techno pad then you can just trim it to size they come in a pack of three as well last but not least I'm testing another one which is a heavy duty green one uh, I've actually cut this one down to size and I'm actually testing that. These abrasive ones, I really do think they might come in handy for solar panel cleaning to get that litching off. So once we get the top of the litching off, we're going to tack it with uh, the tucker off a scrubber because you've got the cascading of water with the over rinse bar. And uh, yeah, uh, this for me seems to be the winner for this year. So last but not least, I always carry plastic scrape with me. The reason why it's a plastic scraper because you can see these uh, they've got the green uh, I think the younger or there might be a different make as well uh, the silver but once you start using them they start to go rusty this is plastic this doesn't rust 
So if I've got some sellotape, really thick sellotape or something, it needs to come off the internal of a glass. I wet the mop with a mop, scrape it off. As soon as it's, as soon as it's been used, I actually physically dry it off, like so, and slide the actual blade down. To change the blade, just go a little bit further up, and this plastic here just lifts up, you change the blade. Put the new blade in, close it down, put it in your pocket. Make sure it's bone dry once you finish with it. These are actually from Wilco, so if I was you, get yourself Wilco, you might get a bargain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. Darren Hansbro from DA Components.